On Friday, April 13th, Mayor Muriel E. Browser announced that D.C. police will now have to take African-American history classes as part of a way to hold accountability and approve policing within D.C. I mean, honestly, I think this is a great step. Why? Because just like any other problem, the first step is just admitting it. Um, I think this is a great, I guess, just D.C. Police Department saying, OK, look, I understand that everybody may not be 100 percent aware of the African-American culture. According to MappingPoliceViolence.org, as of April, a total of 321 people have been fatally shot by the police in 2018 and over 1,000 in 2017. Of those 1,000, 25% were African-American, even though only 13% of the population is African-American. This number continues to grow. With police brutality being a constant issue within the black community, how our students give their opinion on if this program will help solve the lack of accountability and build trust. So I think that this course will do that. I also think the more they start to publicize that, I think that'll also help to build the trust. Um, I think as a community, we are very, just particular about how things are operated. So I think one thing that would help is even if the mayor has made that declaration, how can we as a community come in and see what see what's actually being taught? I feel as though it would try to gain trust of the community that you're serving, yes. But at the same time, the, the communities that they're serving, they're taking from the community to protect it. So what I mean by that, they're taking people already in that community and making them cops and you're protecting your own. As the mayor of D.C. takes strides towards change by implementing African-American courses, we are hoping this is just the beginning in the efforts to better policing. Reporting live for Spotlight Network, I am Anaya Ray.